Atomic Energy Agency estimate a million deaths in the last 25 years directly connected to Chernobyl. We're going to play on screen for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers a government uh, map of, of what Chernobyl did in right. 10 days. It blew all over uh, Europe, and for six months, school children were only fed uh, frozen food flown in uh, from outside of right. Europe. I don't expect to see our government, if more radiation comes this way, warning people not to eat the fish in Alaska, warning right. people not to drink milk. The director of the plant broke down and began to cry at a press conference and basically said they can no longer deceive the public, that the levels are deadly and uh, can kill people. It is mainly blowing out the sea. Here's the devastating news. Japanese, U.S., Chinese, and South Korean meteorologists, among some of the best in the world, are giving a near certain chance with the meteorology that the winds will shift from straight east, due east, towards the United States Saturday and Sunday directly towards Tokyo in what is becoming obvious is a massive multi-Chernobyl level meltdown. The Mail Online, it's all over Japanese news. I'm getting chills right now, ladies and gentlemen. 37 million people in Tokyo, 150 miles south. Heavy winds and rain, which then dumps it on the public, headed Saturday and Sunday. The winds are still east, but believed to shift in the meteorology reports towards Tokyo. That's on Infowars.com. The moment the nuclear plant chief wept as Japanese finally admit the radiation leak is serious enough to kill people, and they've known this since... Reactor 1 blew up Saturday. That radiation set to hit the United States in the next 48 hours. Then, 24 hours after that, I just got chills again. Monday, the Mark 1 plutonium-uranium-based uh, reactor that when they developed in, in the 70s, massive amounts of GE nuclear physicist engineers resigned. People won't remember that, so let's put it on screen. A General Electric scientist resigned over Mark 1 design. Not to mention the 640 plus thousand fuel rods, hundreds of thousands of which were stored on top of the buildings that blew sky high. Whew, I'm getting chills right now. Dr. Baggage, Dr. Baggage, uh, he has broken down the boss of the company. We'll put it on screen, showing him cry. Behind the devastating Japanese nuclear reactor today, broke down in tears as his country finally acknowledged the re radiation spewing from the overheating reactors. That's called meltdown. And fuel rods was enough to kill some citizens. Japan, I mean, and we got calls from people that have friends in Japan that just got out of Japan saying folks are vomiting, red-faced, uh, with radiation sickness. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency admitted that the disaster was a level five. They're saying that's the equivalent of Three Mile Island, but experts, even in L.A. Times, are saying that's a joke. It's worse than Chernobyl, a seven, which is classified as a crisis causing several radiation deaths by the U.N. International Atomic Energy. Officials said the rating was raised after they realized the full extent of the radiation leaking from the plant. They also said 3% of the fuel in three of the reactors at Fukushima plant may have been severely damaged, suggesting those reactor cores have partially melted down. He said officials uh, should have admitted earlier how serious the radiation leaks were. Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, then added, the unprecedented scale, the earthquake, the tsunami that struck Japan, frankly speaking, were on many things that happened that have not anticipated under our disaster management. Uh, the Chief Cabinet Secretary uh, added, in hindsight, we could have moved a little quicker in assessing the situation. They're too busy covering it up and coordinating the information and providing it faster. Nuclear experts have been saying for days that Japan was underplaying the, the severity of the crisis. Uh, the photographs taken by helicopters in a Global Hawk drone operated by the U.S. Air Force, it's so bad they won't send manned people in, indicate the water... It's not lasting very long in the pool, suggesting there is a major breach in the walls of the vessel holding the fuel rods. Well, yeah, you saw the explosions. According to U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission, recognizing the severity of the problem, Japan's Nuclear Regulatory Agency today upgraded the severity of the Fukushima disaster from a 4 to a 5 on the international scale of 1 to 7. The 1986 Chernobyl disaster, the worst nuclear disaster in history, was rated a 7. A 1979 Three Mile Island incident, previously considered the second worst accident in history, was also rated a 5. That was nothing compared to this. French officials have previously called Fukushima uh, a five, and now Japanese authorities have agreed with their assessment. But it is clear that Fukushima is a much more serious problem than Three Mile Island. Of course it is. Little or no radiation escaped from the Pennsylvania facility. But they're saying this is the same as that, and no one was injured. The Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty Organization, which monitors radiation globally, said Friday the minute amounts of radiation from Fukushima. It's minute, folks have reached the west coast of the United States, but only at barely detectable levels. Well, that's because it's the stuff from Friday that were 
ins insufficient and insignificant to health. On Sunday, meteorologists predicted a heavy rainstorm from the Fukushima area with the prevailing winds charging towards the direction of Tokyo. That's bad news for Tokyo. All coming up today. Here's the latest. Reports of harmless radiation reaching California are a whitewash. Paul Joseph Watson, bulk of radioactive particles from Fukushima blast will not reach West Coast until Saturday through Monday when Fukushima 1 and 3 blew up. Takes seven days, uh, the meteorologists predicted, uh, for it to cross. They were correct. It hit today in California, only from small leaks that happened initially before meltdowns began. We know containment vessels at two were open, 600,000 spent fuel rods blown sky high that were stored on top of uh, four of the reactors. Uh, they're also reporting that the Japanese have had to pull back in relief efforts because the radiation is so high, but they're not reporting the radiation in those two states or prefectures uh, right around Fukushima, the lion's share of it blowing out into the Pacific towards North America, the United States and Canada, uh, the most southerly coming into Southern California, hitting earlier today. Uh, AP Reuters reporting low levels of radiation. Yeah, all of that unfolding and that radiation then is set to intensify Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday right through to next week. And we need independent universities, independent organizations, independent individuals to be testing for that radiation. And remember, as Dr. Bob Bowman said, as Dr. Busby said, uh, and as Dr. Rocky has said in previous interviews, even a doubling of radiation that they say is safe or a tripling or a quadrupling, they're claiming 10 times the radiation is safe. Remember, that's background radiation, not actual particles that are getting up near the Geiger counter that randomly come in and that you breathe. That's the big killer, but it takes years, if not decades, to kill you. In fact, here's new scientist from all the way back in 2002 headline, nuclear test fallout killed thousands in the United States. Nuclear test fallout killed thousands in the United States, and it goes over uh, the number of cancers and deaths directly connected to the cancers. Now, the UN, the New York Times, and the Atomic Energy Agency predict, uh, estimate 1 million have died in 25 years in cancers, leukemias, and other illnesses directly connected to the Chernobyl event which right now looks like it's smaller than what we've seen unfold. So you cannot trust the system with their history of making up uh, information about fallout, whitewashing it, to tell you the truth. Uh, so now plutonium, uranium, strontium, tritium, cesium, and radioactive iodine, all in thousands of studies to absolutely confirm massive increases in cancer when you're exposed to even moderate levels CBS News, I've played it hundreds of times. In fact, let's cue it up. Mercury is good for you. It's good for children's behavior. But that's a lawyer talk because they want you servile, brain damaged, not thinking. And so they see that as good behavior. So in their weird world, it does improve cognitive brain function by lowering IQs. Uh, we've spent decades exposing the sodium fluoride, seven-fold increase in men in bone cancer, three-fold increase in women. It hits men a lot worse. Women physiologically are tougher. Any doctor will tell you that. Um, it really hits boys even worse, generally averaging boys and men together at seven times. It's more than 14 times, uh, 12 and under boys. Devastating. You go to the store, it's baby water with fluoride for your baby. Their blood-brain barrier isn't developed properly. It goes directly into the brain. Now the EPA and FDA have recommended it not be used as pesticide anymore because it's bioaccumulating in the crops. Now they've recommended it be cut from 1.2 part per million to uh, half or 0 0.7 uh, part per million. You see, we're winning the fight. Sodium fluoride's poison. Mercury's poison. Lead is poison. Asbestos is poisonous and car carcinogenic. Remember they said the air is safe to breathe. And the CDC has now had to admit uh, the, uh, the Mayo Clinic has come out. They've done chest scans of the victims uh, of 9-11, the asbestos, and, and, and all the rest of the toxins. Massive increases in cancer, massive increases in death rates. That is confirmed. And then it came out years later that Christina Todd Whitman went to Bush and said, we've got to keep this evacuated for weeks. It's deadly. Our detectors, it's deadly. And, 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 and they were told, no, say it's safe to breathe. 
No masks are needed. Because if they admit you need a mask, they've got to admit it's not safe for people in the area. So that's why Obama came out in the news today in an unbelievable statement saying that there's no need to prepare for nuclear fallout. Here are some of those headlines. AP, source, minuscule fallout reaches U.S., Southern California. Wall Street Journal, low levels of radioactive material begin to be detected across Pacific, including Hawaii. Airlines are coming in with radiation on board uh, from uh, Japan. Chernobyl situation may be last resort for Japan reactors. Reuters. Reduced pressure at Fukushima reactor indicates possible leakage from contained core. Mike Adams, Natural News. Obama tells Americans do not prepare for radioactive fallout. Just listen to your government as he prepares to leave the United States on a week-long trip, right as the radiation goes past. Isn't that just convenient? Isn't that special? Uh, he's giving one speech while he's there. The rest of it is a vacation. Is a vacation for him after a week of NCAA babbling. Uh, Swedish government, radiation to cover entire northern hemisphere. Everyone to be affected. PrisonPlanet.com. Canada cover-up. Radioactive leak into Lake Ontario. High levels of radiation. They say, don't worry, it's not bad for you. Coulter says it's good for you. Japan nuclear disaster caps decades of fake reports. Bloomberg reporting on the cover-ups. Ongoing. Michael Bloomberg, he's a gun-grabbing globalist. His publications are among the best and most accurate. I guess because top business people demand real info. They just know the average slaves aren't reading it. Continuing, Japan radiation fears spark panic, salt buying in China. Believe me, iodine will protect them. And to a certain extent from the um, pharmacists and, 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 and doctors we've talked to, they say it helps a little, but it doesn't fully protect the thyroid from the radiation. It helps a little. Uh, so that's going crazy there. Morton Salt has recently taken potassium uh, iodine out of their salt. Recent radiation leaks from Japan's nuclear power plant will cause radiation to be carried by wind directly to North American West Coast. In physics, radiation is when energetic particles or energy or waves travel through a medium or space. Ionizing radiation consists of particles or electromagnetic waves that are energetic enough to detach electrons from atoms or molecules, ionizing them. Radiation poisoning is damage to organ tissue caused by excessive exposure to ionizing radiation. The clinical name for radiation sickness is acute radiation syndrome. On April 26, 1986, Chernobyl nuclear power plant in what is now Ukraine had a reactor malfunction. 336,000 people were resettled throughout the Soviet Union and Europe. The Laris National Academy of Sciences estimated 93,000 deaths and 270,000 cancers. Ukrainian National Commission for Radiation Protection calculates half a million linked deaths to Chernobyl disaster. Potassium iodide has been recommended for protecting the thyroid against radiation poisoning. The thyroid gland produces the hormones that support normal cell metabolism. The regular cell metabolism will result in thyroid cancer. Potassium iodide saturates the thyroid gland so it cannot absorb radioactive iodine. Potassium iodide has been used in radiological emergencies and should be used with caution. Side effects may include nausea, intestinal upset, rashes, inflammation of salivary glands, and possible severe allergic reactions. A more natural solution for this would be sea kelp. You can find sea kelp dietary supplements at your local natural food store. Kelp is a natural supplement which may help maintain a healthy thyroid. Thank you.